Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're talking about New Jersey's attempt to ban all standard capacity magazines. Coltac is no longer just making suppressor wraps and pouches. They're jumping headfirst into the precision rifle game with products like the Cuddle Bag, the Boss Bag, the Ammo Book, and the Rifle Handle. You pick the colors, they build the gear. And because you're awesome and you watch TGC, they're doing a special discount code for you. TGC 10 will get 10% off your entire order over at coltac.com. I know, I know. Some of you are thinking, why are we even talking about a place like New Jersey? Because it's got some of the worst gun laws in the country right behind California. The fact of the matter is, we all have to stick together so this doesn't come to a state near you. You guys in New Jersey have to take action on these bills immediately, as they could end up on the governor's desk this Friday if you don't. Earlier this year, two companion bills were introduced in the New Jersey House and Senate. The bills seek to reduce the maximum capacity of magazines from a whopping 15 rounds to a measly 10. As I testified in front of the Pennsylvania House Judiciary Committee, for some reason, the number 10 is a magical number to legislators when it comes to magazine capacity limits. As always, at least with the trends I notice, 22s with tubular magazines are excluded from this prohibition. I guess you have to do something to keep the sportsmen voting for you. And let's not forget the exception that was placed in the bill for movie production as well. Apparently, those filming have more rights than those who may utilize magazines for the defense of themselves or their families in their own homes. Worse yet, the bill has no grandfathering provision, which means that a person will be required to do one of the following. Modify their 15 round magazine to only accept 10 rounds. Transfer the magazine to a person who's entitled to possess it. Render the magazine inoperable or surrender the magazine. I'm not a constitutional scholar, but that certainly seems to implicate the takings clause. But hey, who needs the constitution anyway? Am I right? Boo! 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 The bill also has a provision for people to register firearms which have a fixed magazine that holds up to 15 rounds and cannot be modified to accommodate 10 or less rounds. And also those which accept a detachable magazine that holds up to 15 rounds and cannot be modified to accommodate 10 or less rounds. What? Those who own such a firearm will only need to pay a $50 registration fee, complete a registration statement, and produce for inspection a valid firearms purchaser identification card, permit to carry a handgun, which almost nobody in New Jersey has, or permit to purchase a handgun. Papers, please? So, if you're in New Jersey, you need to contact your lawmakers now. A link is down in the description. Let them know that they need to vote no on A2761 and S102, as these bills will only negatively affect law-abiding gun owners. And guys, there's no time to waste on this. It's happening right now. That's it for this episode. If you learned anything from the show, help us out and hit that like button on the video and share it around with your friends. Don't forget to get subscribed, and if you enjoyed the video, consider supporting us via the links down in the video description. If you want to get more out of your TGC subscription, be sure to check out the Gun Collective podcast, which happens live on Thursday evenings. And as always, thanks for watching. The shirts worn in today's video on the Gun Collective have been provided by Patriot Patch. Closed captions have also been brought to you by Patriot Patch Company. Be sure to click the link in the video description to check out all of their great products, including their cleaning mats.